in Maryland, a group of law enforcers organized a domestic violence awareness walk dubbed Shatter the Silence, bringing together families, friends, and communities. Eagle News correspondent Eliza gonzalez Maglikmot reports. For several years now, every October, a group of law enforcers in Maryland gathers members of the community for an awareness walk to battle domestic violence. Dubbed Shatter the Silence, this annual walk reaches out to victims of violence at home by letting them know help is available to them. All they need to do is to come forward and speak up. Domestic violence touches everyone's lives. It has... It doesn't discriminate it age gender uh, nationality uh, socioeconomic status it doesn't matter domestic violence and sexual assault is an epidemic in our community and we have to stop it so as a part of law enforcement in a non enforcement capacity we felt that it was important to show our community our, the, the support that they need and we collaborated with the hospital and churches and as a result of that, we have a group of wonderful people coming together to show their support to survivors. This event is very close to my heart. Um, it's exactly what our shirt says, shatter the silence. Mm -hmm. With domestic violence being something that people are ashamed of and don't want to talk about, it's very prevalent in our community. And we want to have a, a, a safe place here where we have resources, where you can come and you can get help. You have people here who have been directly impacted and indirectly impacted, and the people who just want to be here for you and support the cause. So Maryland is one of the higher ranking um, states for domestic violence for men and women, and we take it very serious. Because a lot of people think that they have to be silent about the things that happen, not only domestic violence, but sexual assault as well. So this is to shatter the silence, to um, get rid of the stigmatism that people think are, that attach to those two things. We want people to come forward, we want people to be safe, and that's what this is about. As law enforcement officers, as females, um, you know, we, we want them to know that it's not a division. We want to be there to help them and we want to be a part of everything and we understand and we sympathize. Is that it raises awareness. It brings awareness to all of the people who were here and all the people who are paying attention to this. And that makes them a little more interested in getting involved or being aware of things that are going on, maybe helping people out. Uh, it also helps people be aware of services that are available for them here in the county. Ours is one. We're a hospital-based sexual assault center, domestic violence center, and so we are able to provide services from the hospital. But there are other organizations as well, that, and so it makes people more aware of, of the services around them. And when we talk about domestic violence, we're really talking about intimate partner. We're talking about relationships, children are involved, and so we're affecting multi-generations a lot of times when these occurrences occur. And I believe personally, from my perspective, it's so important now that I know, witness it myself, working with this wonderful organization, working with our partners, I'm now able to tell other generations, my sons who are now men who are in relationships, we can tell our children children what to look for in healthy relationships. And when we learned about this activity sponsored by the National Park Police, mm -hmm. uh, it encouraged us to extend help, at least mm -hmm. raise awareness concerning this issue mm -hmm. because uh, we know uh, this is a very delicate um, issue, mm -hmm. especially here in this part of uh, the world. Mm -hmm. And at least the brethren will be aware uh, and uh, it will encourage even the other members of the community mm -hmm. to join in and um, at least um, prevent mm -hmm. things from happening, mm -hmm. especially that, especially for me. For example, mm -hmm. I have my kids too. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to be uh, victims mm -hmm. uh, concern, um, to these uh, acts of violence. Mm -hmm. So the Church of Christ, mm -hmm. through the approval of our beloved Executive Minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, mm -hmm. Uh, were allowed to join uh, such an activity. To shatter the silence of domestic violence, one needs to know there is support out there. Reporting from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, I am Eliza Gonzalez Manglikmot for Eagle News, 1 with 25. Thanks, Eliza. That is today's Eagle News. Join us again tomorrow for stories that matter to you. Visit our websites at eaglenews.net and eaglenewslive.com. 
Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Eagle News and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Eagle News. Thank you for watching. I am Jennifer Polentan and I am one with 25. Thank you.